a 50th birthday deserves a great 50th birthday present. Cars and Culture on the road at the Quail with Christian Van Koenigsegg and his 50th birthday present to himself and right. the world. <laughs> Tell me a little <laughs> bit about like it. Yeah. yeah, so um, we were turning on year 20 in the company from when we delivered the first production car ever in 2002, which was the Love Child, the first product we ever made that we developed since the inception of the company uh, from the mid 90s to 2002. And that was the most impossible car because that was a startup car. Uh, and we hit the ground running getting a Red Dot award for excellent design. We got a Guinness uh, record for the most powerful production homologated car ever. And it became the favorite supercar of Jeremy Clarkson in a shootout. That's right. The Top Gear guy. That's right. So uh, it, we couldn't have had a better start. And, and, and when we designed that car, we realized that we need to make something timeless because we will not be able to develop cars in a very fast cycle and will take a long time to get the first one finished and out into the marketplace. So it needs to stay valid for a long period of time. And we've noticed how those early cars really stay, have stayed fresh and some people mistake them for new mm -hmm. Koenigseggs even, mm -hmm. like 15 years later. Uh, and then coming up on 20 year celebration and I'm happy to turn in this, this, same this year. summer. Yes, yes mm -hmm. we said, okay, let, let's celebrate the absolute first Koenigsegg by reimagining it in 2022, but, but really staying true to its original feel, shape and form. And let's make 50 of them then, since I'm turning 50, it's a good <laughs> round, round number. Uh, but fill it with the latest technology and, and features and functions to make it the most exciting car to drive. And then we came up with this new type of manual solution where you have... Uh, yeah, let's talk about this. So it's yeah. it's a, it's not a manumatic, but it does go no. automatic or manual, correct? Yes, yeah. so you, you have six slots where you can where you can choose gears manual and you have a clutch pedal for that. Uh, but the transmission is the same as in the Yesco, it's our in-house developed patented light speed transmission, which compounds three gears with three gears, so three times three is nine. So it's the size of a six-speed gearbox, but you get nine speeds out of them okay. by combining clutches on these different gears in different combinations. So there are no synchros, there are no forks, uh, there is no flywheel between the engine and the gearbox, so it's super low inertia. Uh, so in the Yesco we paddle shift that or have it in automatic function. Here we augment uh, and control the clutches with the clutch pedal. They are pressurized with hydraulics like a normal clutch, but, but here we augment it in between, but it's a one-to-one -one relationship. So you, you control the clutch like in a normal manual. You can, you can uh, slip the clutch, you can, you can sidestep and stall the car. It's just direct. It's no better than you're a driver and it's, wow. it's like a manual. And here we control those clutches depending on which position you're in. And we have six forward gears. So we choose different gear ranges for track or road. On the track, we have a long first gear getting out of pits because you only do that once or sure. twice. And then a very tight set of gears. 4.72 yeah. on, uh, on it's the road uh, selection. Exactly. Seconds. So in, in road, we have a shorter first gear because you might be in traffic and so on. And a little bit longer throws between the gears. Got it. So you can stay in gear a little bit longer and, and really surge through. And, and then when you get into a situation where you're tired of driving manually, maybe you're in a traffic situation jam or something like that, then you go over here and then you have a nine speed automatic. Wow. And we have really Brilliant. spent a lot of time here to make this. Yeah. If you look down there, you have a, like a gearbox here. And that's because everything you would experience in a traditional gearbox in field, it's situated here. Uh, so you can't just get out of a gear without pushing the clutch. You can't throw in a too low gear because the synchros would hold against and the engine would over rev, so we're controlling that as well. And if you push hard, it's heavier because you would have more resistance in the shifting mechanism. Okay. All of that is created here to give you as a genuine feel of a traditional manual as possible because all those features are there for good reason to control your driving style. How hard did you push on this, really wanting this to be perfection in your uh, mind? It, super hard you because were. this, if it doesn't feel like a traditional manual, it's, it's, it's a failure. It, 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 the ambition here is to have it as, as the sweetest working but true manual feel. Sure, sure. The setup. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I'm in a, in a in a fighter jet. I feel like I'm in a in a very traditional Koenigsegg product. What else do you like when you when you look around the cockpit yeah. here? That, yeah. That so excites you. What we did differently to this car, we went back to a traditional round steering wheel, and I've, I've been saying that 
for the last couple of days to people who experienced in the car that why am I bragging about a round steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> but it is unusual in today's cars and it means that when you're flicking around a tight race course or something, you have a constant grip and it's just how cars used to be back in the days, especially rally cars and things like where you have really fast movement. And then we brought back uh, uh, analog instrument cluster where we really put a lot of effort in to create like a Swiss watch with uh, with, with uh, special cut gears and everything and we have several needles coming off of the center like a chronograph it's beautiful um, and, and, and that just adds to this analog feel with the manual shifter with the round steering wheel uh, and, and the layout of the uh, interior is quite similar to the original car but of course it's much more modern it's a little bit bigger space better ergonomics um, but, but how it all came together uh, maintaining the feel of the original CC8 test but taking it in it to today and into the future without being too retro. And you've sold out of all of them, they're all yes, gone, right? Yes, we're all sold out from the factory to our dealers. The dealers, what I hear, the allocations are pretty much all gone today, I think. Wow. So, uh, and we're p having people chase us down, but we're only making 50, so. Did you did you take serial number 0001 and dedicate it to yourself? Yes. This I mean, is, you have to. Yeah, this is the car. This one? Yeah. Okay. This, this is my special. So we're sitting in your birthday present. This is my birthday present to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, it, it will be a special birthday this summer when you turn 50, and congratulations on putting together just a, an absolute gem of a vehicle. It is a traditional Koenigsegg in, in every which way, except this one, retro yet modern and incredible with what you've Yeah, done something here. unique here. Yeah. Good <laughs> to see you. you again. Good to see you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you so much. We'll see you again next time.